been holding my oil line. But big part right here gonna kind of bother me about because it didn't this filled up I had to finish pouring it down through there. So hopefully it filled all the way. This one and this one is two little bitty pieces filled off of that side of that gate. I didn't have a big enough channel across here. And uh so flask is hot, we got iron in it. Does the job when you think you get it, everything mixed up right just right. There's some pick it up and use it for buckshot, I guess. So. Well, I'm gonna turn the camera off. We'll come back out here in a couple of hours and let it cool off real good and see what we got. It uh I need to let it cool off. Probably won't pull it till late this evening, so. Anyway, that's cast iron pour for today. It went real good. Uh, started off with a crucible. Completely full of pieces of iron. And it finally heated up and everything in the crucible melted and I had a couple more pieces and uh, very little slag put some ferrosilicon in it and we'll just have to see what happens with it yeah there they are Looks like we got three good pieces. It's a vice piece, bottom jaw, top jaw, right there. It's a little top jaw, a little bowly vice. This is big, heavy chunk. It took a lot of iron. It, uh, it's a base, base casting for a slaughter for a lathe. So I'll put them over here in the, put them in the muller and bury them back in the sand and let them cool down. Try to get some iron right now is looking like it's gonna be all right. It's a, I haven't seen anything that shows it to be white yet, so, which is good. I gotta put the fan in here. 